Hello everyone, welcome back to Altus Plays Dead Cells. I know it's been a while, I apologise, but not that much. Uh, things have been going on and it's all cool and don't worry about it. Um, we have decided for once to actually uh, do what we're supposed to and play with a boss cell active. Uh, this looks different, can't have a notice. Okay, Bab is fine. Uh, first of all, there are enemies on this level that I do not appreciate being on this level. Secondly, I feel like the level kind of looks different somehow. Like the... Um, layout is using unexpected like there's the shapes in the level that i haven't seen before nice avoid avoid all right cool so what's been going on well seven things but honestly what right what happens between episodes when we're not really playing i've been doing a lot more stone block um recently this isn't it's not like i'm deciding which game to play it's not I'm, it's not conscious essentially right uh what i'm do i like this one more than this one <sighs> hang on there's a force field three seconds yeah that's good. um stone block is easy to play and right now that's kind of necessary because the, the i don't have that much time to play in general, not much time to record recently. Um, not for any, not for any strange reasons. It's just that there's more stuff to do in real life, and it just seems to get on top of you um, a lot of the time. Honestly, the fact, the reason I can't record is that I'm too tired. I don't want. To, ooh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I like the bloodthirsty shield anyway, so that was nice. Um, Sorry, what? Yes, I, I'm i very tired a lot and it's not good for me and I'm trying things to, to sort of uh, improve that. M mostly trying to just work a bit better. It's work that gets me in the state of mind that when I get home I can't really handle anything. No mouses. Um, but I'm doing it wrong. Honestly, it's me. I am struggling... We have to be open about mental health, and I've always said that, and I think it's time to talk about that a little bit more again, so tune out if you're bored of it. Honestly, you shouldn't be. I have been struggling with, if not uh, ADD, then at the very least, the symptoms of ADD. Um, which honestly is not that much of a distinction, in my opinion, because I, I don't have an ADD diagnosis, but I have a lot of the signs of uh, attention deficit disorder, which turns out not to be just people who can't pay attention. It is... I think, like, for me, one of the major symptoms of ADD that actually matters is, um, uh, basically, literally what it sounds like, you, you get distracted. Distractions are, like, that much more difficult for a person with ADD to deal with and to avoid, um, sort of being affected by it. The effect of a distraction is to be distracted, but it's not just that. Um, everyone can be distracted I understand that and, and the nature of the thing that you're doing at the time very much determines ooh, um, very much determines whether you get distracted just as a standard human being but for me it seems to be that much more difficult to sort of re-engage with the world how many this, this seems so much more different. I, I don't recognize any of the patterns of this floor. I think that's a, a disconcerting thing. Uh, how many uh, teleporters do you need on the prison depths, right? Two? <laughs> it's full of them. It's full of something. Anyway, um, the symptoms are there, even if not necessarily the diagnosis is there. And this being uh, the UK in 2019, it's going to be a long time before I can get to the... Yeah, I don't think I want the Hunter's Grenade, because we're playing with a boss cell. Don't forget that. Um, it's going to be a long time before I can really get a, an appointment at the neurology clinic to have a proper diagnosis, but nevertheless, the symptoms are there. I'm trying to deal with those. It's almost, um, it's almost silly trying, I guess, is the thing. We could go with uh, red and green but i think an alternative is to just go green and green <laughs> that may have been the wrong decision but i do like the 
the infantry bow, and it's not a good enough bow that we're not very keen to replace it, right? Um, for example, this. What's the enemy? Not good enough. Not good enough. It's a lot of cells from one floor. I'm enjoying this uh, one boss cell run, because so far it's not been a problem. Yeah. Uh, that actually improves its own self with its <laughs> with its extra thing on it. Um, hang on while I look at these, because I've forgotten how to play this game because it's been so long. We just got a school. It took eight seconds with these successful parry. Attack following successful parry. HP after a death. HP after a parry is not as important to me as skills cooldown with a parry now that we have a skill that we're likely to use. Remember this. I, I remember about this. These are going to be broken. I'm not sure if they're all going to be broken, but I, I, we'll see because we might want to think about the one that gives us HP after an enemy dies because if we take that, we don't have to worry about healing ourselves that much. Um, there is also food. Food exists. Right, right. Uh, uh, yeah, so essentially, the point is, even if I don't have a diagnosis, I still have to work with the symptoms. Uh, uh, and I think that, well, essentially, I don't need to think it because <laughs> now I told it, uh, I'm handling it wrong at work and uh, possibly at home as well. But honestly, it's mostly at work because you come from work tired, um, and it's the tiredness of uh, it's the tiredness of just fatigue, mental fatigue, right? Um, and our mental fatigue is probably quite obviously caused by just too much stuff, too many distractions, too much going on in my head for me to think about all at once. Uh, and it's all about the, the distracting nature of other people a lot of the time, right? Got you. Let's put this down as well, why not? Trying to avoid being hit by that because I don't want to take any damage if I can avoid it because damage is bad for bad for bears. Give me my uh, give me my ammo back. Also, yeah, have this. There we go. That was nice. Um, so I think that I need to basically. Well, I, I have my appraisal at work. This is a thing that is possibly relevant but not necessarily worth talking about. If you don't care, the appraisal. I don't. Do other com countries do this? I assume it's a, a fairly common thing. But your appraisal is basically you get the opportunity to complain about your job, <laughs> and your job gets the opportunity to complain about you. you know, it's a very sort of tit for tat sort of situation, and I think it's honestly I hate it. <laughs> I hated doing it, and the reason I hate doing it is not because it's um, not because of the specific process itself, but because of the sort of the self-assessment part of the process. You have to put all this stuff down on this form which is so dry and boring and kind of patronizing um it talks it's like the questions they ask appraisals are different in every company i i am sure so you know actually you know telling you what it had on it probably wouldn't prepare you for your own one but uh i don't know if it's common practice to um to have the sort of appraisal that I had. Like, what do people, what do other companies put on appraisal forms? I have no idea. Uh, but this one, uh, I, I guess I can see what they were going for is the point now. Wow. Apparently if you don't play this game for ages, you get pretty good at it. Um, I can see what they were going for, but I didn't appreciate the way they did it. And it made me feel very scrutinized. And I hate scrutinizing myself. I hate looking at myself at all. I've told you about this before. It's another, uh, self-esteem slash mental health problem. I, I I hate mirrors. Every time I catch myself in the mirror, just like a, a glance of myself. Ooh, I can open this now. <laughs> um, I, I It puts me off of whatever it is that I'm doing. It distracts me, which is, you know, we've, we've talked about that. But also, it's, it's not just that it distracts me. It, it makes me really like, it's like if you saw, uh, like a dead cat or something, right? If you saw a particularly gruesome image, but just you can imagine what sort of distraction that would cause you. It would be a unpleasant sort of lapse. Why did I do that? And why did it not punish me for doing that? I guess that's the main question. 
Um, you, could, you know, you can imagine that you would be particularly upset and you wouldn't be able to continue doing what it was you were doing for a, a few moments. And that's what happens when I look in a mirror, which sounds like really whingy and self-effacing and, and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, <laughs> that's what it's like. It's just handy. It's just a, a fight to a chest, but not a difficult fight. Not like the stupid secret rune fight. It's good. I like that. Um, anyway, keep catching yourself. It's up in the mirror. Big deal because uh, I don't like seeing myself. <laughs> just leave me alone, me. Uh, I prefer an ice grenade to a cleaver. I'm also going to do this. Anyway, I've been trying to deal. Oh no! I'm trying to deal with the um, old ADD potentiality, and I get home from work and I'm just. I can't deal with it. I was talking about the appraisal, because I, I hate looking at myself, right? That was not fun! Leave me alone! It's all gone wrong! Uh, you might want to look at the thing that heals us when we kill things. Uh, I remember that there was a kebab bump over there, so I'm just going to get that before everything starts falling apart around us. We don't necessarily want to use our flask yet, but of course if we don't have the... Um, oh, we, want, we don't have the thing in between levels anyway, why not just use the flask, right? Because we're going to need to use it to heal ourselves, unless we keep... 15%! <gasps> That's little! <laughs> That's very little HP! <laughs> HP. So, uh, yeah, I, I dislike scrutinizing myself. I dislike looking inwards, and it's probably a, a bad thing because you should be okay with that. I think, in general. Um, if you can't sort of turn the camera inwards and have a look at like what's going on in your life and what your goals and dreams... I, I, I don't feel like I deserve to have goals and dreams and aspirations, right? That's big deal, that's a big part of depression is to just believe that you are of no work. Um, I don't have it that badly, but uh, I, I find that when I'm given a question like that or a, a task like that, um, it's, it's not going to go well. I'm just going to rebel against it. I'm going to reject the idea that I should even have to do this thing rather than um, determine how I should do this thing without too much stress. Malachite, no, I need chicken legs. Chicken wings. I mean, some of the... Is any of these worth it? Not really. Red is our secondary stat right now, which is uh, an issue. Leave it alone. I've turned my uh, base up on my headphones by accident, and now it feels really loud. Pesky. I like being able to do that. You're in a bit of a bind. You can just uh, send <laughs> send that bomb away, and it's no longer a problem. Yeah, have a crit. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Balance blade two. I don't know if oh, it's damage against a frozen target. I don't know, it doesn't have the extra bit on it. I know we could upgrade it and potentially get that, but I think better the devil you know at this point. We need... It's in here now. So, appraisal at work meant a little bit of, you know, what's going on with me, and I'm going, I don't want to talk about it, but I have to talk about it, which led to a bit of a stressful evening. But the whole point of the appraisal... Does this heal you by any chance? Please. Right. Uh, the whole point of the appraisal at that point is to establish what needs to change if anything can be done. So I thought this... Oh, there you are. Nice. Um, I think I'm just going to use this. I only need one. Although I could do with the second one. Um, and whether... I guess in this case whether the company can do anything to improve that. And honestly, it, it's a time for self-reflection, and um, it's not just the company that has drawn this to me. I, I, I shouldn't be coming home tired. 
right? I need to figure out how to get through my day without it draining me to such an extent that I can't get home without just giving up. And it's the coming home and giving up. It's the burnout that means I'm not recording as much. So anyway, there's that. I mean, you have to understand that when I record these episodes, I literally just sort of keep talking until there's no reason to talk nonsense. Basically, until something happens in the game. Oh, I wish I could just go a little bit further. We went back for the... Um, we went back for the HP when we came down here. So now we need to go back down here and uh, get a scroll of power. I think that's going to be quite important to us. So... What was I saying about getting good at the game? I've played it a little bit too much now since uh, the last time I did really well uh, a few minutes ago. So, let me see. Uh, everything's gone to heck again. So, yeah. yeah, there's new patterns to the level. I, I am convinced of it. It's not just... It's not just uh, an impression I'm getting. There are parts of this level are not things I've seen before and therefore the levels are constructed differently when you have a boss seller. And that is my theory right now. So um, I'm hoping that it's not going to be difficult. I don't really want to go and get that. So I'm not going to. It doesn't interest me. Very, very. Okay, have it. You. Everything's slowed. You die. Smash and die, and oh, I wish I could get a Switch. <laughs> I'd love to play this new Smash Bros. I love Smash Bros. It's been such a long time since I played it. We used to play it all the time. Uh, back at school, man. The original Smash Bros. I'm going to go for the ramparts because of this is hard. So, heck you, I'm going to do it. Um, man, we played the original Smash Bros on the N64 in the common room at school. I've got a second thing on Discord that I can't see. Never mind. Um... And that sort of, I was bad at it. <laughs> you know, that was, what was that? It was, it was before 2000, right? Before the year 2000, well, mostly. Colorless, attacking just after parry inflicts 300 damage. That's good to know. Yeah, it could be good. I mean, I'd like to do all of these, but I, I really can't. Let's get this uh, HP one before anything else. This one. Which is not very much, but the more... Uh... Oh! I can use this one. Nice. Okay, so one boss cell you get to use the second one. I'm guessing that is a consistent change. Or maybe it's just the Ramparts one and not the Abandoned Suits. Who knows? I don't really get good at Spash Bros. Spash Bros until melee on the gamecube and that's because it's really hard <laughs> okay so leave me alone i did notice and i don't know if you lot did that um that that was a terrible terrible use of a shield there let's let's not do that again let's just do this um we had new enemies on the first floor but oh i pressed the button and nothing happened but the enemies on the second floor were all the usual ones, but we had some changes, but it wasn't enemies. That's interesting. Do you think? Ow. Ow, what? Oh, I, I couldn't see him. <laughs> I didn't see him. That was legit. I was going to say my fault. Like, that was a legit piece of damage. It's not like I'm going to whinge about that, but good grief, I didn't see that enemy. Let's just use this. We know that we can. Um, wow, okay. Uh, I, I, there was a point in Smash Bros where you learn how to do a smash move. Like, you figure out the timing, and then all of a sudden, you know, life's... Life is your oyster. Nope. Oh. These are just too much. So, now I'm really looking forward to playing... Well, looking forward to playing the one on the Switch, because I haven't yet. I know it's not fair, because I think that I'm more than deserving of it. You know, uh, no one deserves it more than me, because I am the best... How do we get in there? Oh, we just jumped down. Oh, I don't care. Um, yeah, but no, but... Uh, one day I will own a Switch and be way behind the curve, but I didn't really like Brawl is the thing on the Wii. The Wii did not have the control scheme really best for mm, Smash Bros. The thing is, there were people who played Smash. 
who I don't know if this is a like a professional gamer sort of mindset, but when they played Smash, uh, their jump was they pushed up on the jumpy pushy up pad, right? But when I played, jump was whichever of the buttons it was that did jump. And I don't know if it was somehow like more refined to, to use the, <laughs> the up on the... It was the control stick, right? So up was difficult to press. It's not just the... Um, oh, there's a new enemy. Why didn't you roll? That's not fair. Um, it's not just up was difficult to press. It was like pretty hard to press. You know, uh, whereas you can just push a button. Oh, thank you. And Bob's your uncle, right? There you go. You, you saw it. No worries. Well, uh, the, the people who are best at Smash used the the direction pad, the the choice joy pad to do it. Um, how 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 are you this good at motor control that you can press up uh, on the GameCube funny little pad thingy to jump in Smash Bros? But then when Brawl came out, that was almost the correct way of doing it. Because it was easier to use the nunchuck to press up than it was to use the nunchuck to basically do anything else. I think it's about time we replace this weapon, quite frankly. Because I can't um, necessarily <laughs> shoot everything all the time. And also, hi, I can't parry everything when there's this many melee things happening, all slightly out of sync with one another. Although, I have to confess, having um, the extra sort of... Uh, the bleed damage from a successful parry is very helpful indeed. Ooh, nearly used the wrong button there. And this speed is helpful as well, to be honest. Very nice. Well done. So I'm hoping that with the, with the Switch again, we're going to have a little bit more ability to actually play the game the way I want to play it, rather than being forced into the way that I don't really like. This, this, we need to not use a bow anymore. <laughs> it worked for a while, and also I wanted to go up here because of a thing. Oh yeah, here it is. Well, we're at full health again, which is nice, so we don't need to worry about that. Um, uh, to, to, no, okay, fine. I'm looking forward to it, but I haven't got a Switch, so I can't play it. And, it, ooh, does Switch allow for Twitch streaming or similar to that? That would be great. I wouldn't mind learning Smash Bros, the new one, anyway. Um, obviously, with a, a basis of having played it before. I wouldn't mind having a go at the new one for the first time on stream. That would be really cool. But I'm not going to go around having, like, a capture card to plug my Switch into just to do that. I'd rather it had its own method of like, <laughs> letting me show my content to the world indiscriminately and whether they want it or not. Fine. Help! Oh no! Okay, good. There's no arrow left. The problem with this weapon is that there's a limited number of times you can use it, and if that doesn't help, then heck you, I guess. I want to go and... I want to explore as much as I can here because we need as much of an advantage as we can get. Although, I will say there was an episode that I have not released because it's horrible uh, and I forgot to um, use a boss cell, but I did beat the boss a second time, but I did use the boss's own and, um, weapon against it, so you know, it's, uh, take that as you will. But, uh, yeah, that was the thing. Can we get down there? Hello? Um, it just wasn't very good. I spent an hour playing this game and basically, I was going to say I talked crap, but that's what you're here for. I didn't just talk crap, it was really <laughs> mindless. It was nothing. I, I didn't like it and I deleted it and I, I apologise if that offends you in any sort of way, but it's the way it's going to be, so deal with it, I guess. Bit of cash, seems fine. Okay, um... Let's leave. Move on. Don't mind the teleporter. Oh, wait. I wasn't one. You are a bull. I'm going to have to run up here. To climb this boring slow... Making me talk about... What was I talking about? Appraisals. 
Appraisals is a weird thing at work. I would be happy if they never got one. Um, that, or I would be happy if every time I got one, it came with a pay rise. But I think the thing is that whenever I have an appraisal, at least at this point, there hasn't really been anything... Nothing's changed? Um, I remember having appraisals when I worked at Love Film. Which is now part of Amazon. And I had only one, because I only worked there for a year and a half. Um, and... We set out a whole bunch of things, like personal goals and stuff but it took ages to figure out what they should be and i think this is like this is essentially the the main issue i have with the whole concept of appraisals is that you need somebody who is skilled at appraisaling in the first place to make it like a thing worth pursuing um and as much as i like spending half my life just talking crap in a room with my boss, I'd much rather not, <laughs> and instead do my work. And but there's there's an opportunity for personal uh, discovery slash. Oh, you bastard! That's okay. Um, but like you have to be receptive to it, um, which I am. But I think the thing is, I don't want to do it myself. I want somebody else to do that for me. <laughs> don't um. Don't make me fill in a form that is scrutinizing myself and then bring it to a meeting in which I'd just rather there was a professional capable of scrutinizing me for me in a calm, uh, essentially a psychiatrist. I know it's green, but I don't really care. Um, someone skilled in tact, but who can sort of extract from you whatever it is you might want to talk about that you don't know how to talk about without somebody there. I'm not going to tell a piece of paper my innermost, darkest, deepest problems, right? But I, I'm expected to. You know, a lot of the questions are things like... Um, hold on. Am I hearing noises? Jen Ho? I hate this. <laughs> Here's Jen home. Do I... Is she going to come up and scare me, basically? That's the question I'm asking. Whoa! You just trolled me. Okay. I haven't seen a, a reason to throw my head out again, so... I wouldn't mind if there were one. There's nothing else to do. There's... Uh, nothing. No. This is all fine. Okay, let's go. Um... I... First of all, I have a little bit of trouble personally sort of expressing emotional things in the first place because I am stunted in that regard being a male in the UK and ooh, that's all good uh, but at the same time like I'm not certainly not going to do it if there's just a piece of paper in front of me <laughs> it's not going to coax it out of me I'm not, I don't feel like I can because I know that somebody's going to read that okay I'm in front of me as well uh, this could be good. Let's get even more HP, because, yeah, look, this one's dead as well. This one's broke. We're going to have to fight the concierge without taking damage, which is fine. I don't know how long we're going to be able to make our Ixus flask last. Ixus. Um, so, but I have previously had... Oh, we should do this first, look. A, uh, I've previously had a um, a, 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 a appraisal. What, why? Why? Uh, in which the person there actually did all that. They were actually helping me. Shoot, there. Okay. Run out of ammo. Okay, fine. So, like, I liked that because then I learned that there may have been problems. And of course, at the time, like this ADD thing that I've been bagging on about. Uh, again, remember, I don't have a diagnosis here, but what I do have is a um, a uh, a bunch of symptoms. And it doesn't really matter if I have the diagnosis; I don't need to learn to deal with the symptoms. Um. And one of those symptoms 
Like, a lot of those symptoms have, have essentially explained a lot of the problems I've had in previous appraisals. Like, I've not been able to really figure out the reasons behind that. That's terrible. Did you see that? Um, yeah, it looks like you still get HP if your parry is on an enemy that you parried before, as long as it's a boss. Hey, I didn't mean to press any of those buttons. Nice. Um, so, it's, it's news to me, but it, it's good to know, but also, like, uh, how do I deal with it? There's so many problems that work, so... I'm trying things, and one of the things I'm really trying is go away and leave me alone, <laughs> frankly. Um, it, it seems like a bit of a... Probably a little bit of an overbearing way to put it, but... Um, I... I died. <laughs> I didn't even expect to die, I was just talking. Um, I should have used my healing flask, but I didn't think of it. I was trying to use my shield to heal, and I just... I flaked on that, I have no idea what happened. The dude hit me, I didn't even notice. I was talking about being a loopy doolally loser i don't know well thank you for watching this we are still on one boss cell so that's the thing we are going to play with the heavy crossbow and the assault shield is one of my favorites but we're not going to do that now we're going to do that in the next episode thank you for watching i hope that you will join me for the next one i hope you'll join me for minecraft and very soon there will be minecraft videos of the stream that we did with me and paul uh simi and jen jen being the focus of that so go and check that out and uh, we'll be starting a new channel soon hopefully there'll be more news on this probably on the channel here and also go and join us on discord have a look down below in the description and remember that this channel grows from shares so if you're enjoying it share it with your mates and tell them how cool and good and fun it is and until next time really appreciate you watching and i will see you next time